I hope you're ready for the knockout stages of the World Cup. We're taking on Morocco with our team of Cavani's. We managed to get through the group stage. It wasn't easy. We did lose against Egypt, but we finished above them to top the group, which means we get to take on Morocco, who finished above Portugal in Group B. We can't underestimate them. They won two games. However, it's an easier draw that I, than I thought it would get. Uh, we saw Costa Rica go through from Group E. Poland topped Group H. No massive shocks in there, I suppose, apart from Portugal getting knocked out. I've made a couple changes. Not that it really matters. I mean, this is pretty confusing, really. I I've lost track of which player plays in which position. It doesn't actually matter. Obviously, number two plays at right back because he's been brilliant there. Number, f I mean, the back four the last few games, they've done okay, actually. So I'm probably going to be quite consistent and keep this back four. Original Cavani still up front in that striker position, central striker position. He's going to be alongside number 20 and 11 today. Let's get on with this then. These are the lineups then. So Morocco going with a 3-5-2 with wing backs kind of thing. Uh, hmm. Can't underestimate them. They play some nice football. I enjoyed... Their style of play at the World Cup, pretty unlucky really, weren't they? They just couldn't stick the ball in the back of the net. Go out there and impress me. Let's just get on with this. We've been a little bit underwhelming so far. I keep talking about those friendlies, but against Croatia, I loved it. We, it was great end-to-end -end stuff. Our finishing didn't let us down. We did okay against Saudi Arabia, but we could have probably scored even more. This is a deep corner to the back post, and it's... Easily picked up by the keeper. Not much happened in the first few minutes, but we're on the ball here. Number three finds number eight. Oh, that's a great tackle by the original Cavani. Winning that back. Number 17 on the ball now into seven. Nice ball out wide. This is nice stuff. Are we going to see a, a spectacular team goal? Number 11 out wide to the full back. Number five, Edinson Cavani into seven. Twelve. Has a shot. It's tipped over the bar. I thought we were going to work it into the box as per my instructions, but we didn't. We went for the long effort. I think we just got a bit frustrated at not being able to get past their defence. They seem to be quite solid, don't they? Apparently we should encourage our players to try a more direct style of football. Why not? Let's go with that. Let's try something a bit different. It's pretty equal so far. Ah, boring. Boring, boring. I'm still shocked at how solid we are. We, had a, we only conceded once against Egypt. We got kept clean sheets against Russia and Saudi Arabia. Another half of football without conceding a goal. Cavani is a brilliant defender. I suppose they're on the same wavelength because they're the same person. There's a connection between them. Assertive. We've been unlucky so far. I'm going to say to the midfield, we weren't that bad. The attackers, once again, kind of let me down. Kind of tempted to try some different instructions. 11's going to come off. We're we'll throw on. We're we'll around 10. I'm going to play him as a target man. And he can head it down for original Cavani and maybe number 16. In fact, I'm going to play him as a complete forward. Let's just try something a bit different. I'm floating the crosses. Oh, this is boring. Why is nothing happening? Let's not work the ball into the box. Let's just have a few shots from outside the box. Cavani, the original, having a poor game. He's on a 6.4. There's just not been anything in this. Morocco haven't done anything either, to be fair. But it's just... I want entertaining football lads. Morocco playing it out from the back. They know how to keep the ball. They're technically gifted players. We need to get in their faces and win it back. Come on, guys. Intensity. Uh-oh, that's a good ball through. It's a good save by Maslara. We've got higher tempo. Closing down on more, so we should be getting in their faces, but oh, for whatever reason, we've just been a bit pathetic today. Here's Bellhander looking to punish us, but that's cleared away. Time to make some more subs. I'm going to take the original off. He's just not doing it for me today. But which one do we bring on? I don't know. Uh, let's bring on 18. Oh, we're looking really nervous. Show some passion. Let's go for that. Nine minutes until the end of the 90. That's headed away. Here come Morocco. Great tackle. I mean, he's only got nine on tackling Cavani, but that's excellent. Here's number 16. Can we win it? It's crossed deep. And that's just headed wide. Hit it across the keeper. Third half chance of the game. Morocco have had the only clear-cut chance of this match. Oh, I want to get through to that quarterfinal at least. I really thought, I mean, that would that's mission accomplished in my books. Quarterfinals, 
If we can go further than that, then that's a bonus. But here come Morocco. Bellhander, great save from Slow. My defence just vanished. That's the second clear-cut chance for them. They should be winning this game, really. With the chances they've had, we've just not created anything, have we? Great tackle. Maybe going direct wasn't the right thing to do. My, my assistant might have let me down there. Because we've not really done anything since going direct. Perhaps I'll go to mixed. Two minutes of injury time. It's going to extra time. I've noticed on Football Manager you can't seem to make a fourth sub, I don't think, in extra time. Just in real life you can at the World Cup, of course. Might not go to extra time, though. We've got an opportunity. Number 10, just over the bar. Fifth half chance. One minute to go. It's just not been our day, has it? It's not been Morocco's day either. They've missed two clear-cut chances. But, ah, uh, frustrating. Knocked up the pitch. 50 seconds to win this. It's not long. Here's number 10. Round the back. Crosses it in. Headed away. Uh, offside. It's going to extra time. I don't want more, more of this game. It's boring. And it's raining. Although I wish it was raining in my room now. It's boiling. Here come Morocco. Oh, skipped around his man. 10 seconds to go. Surely they're not going to score in the last 10 seconds. I think it's going to extra time. I've got one more sub to make. I might take off eight because he's looking very nervous. That's not ideal, is it? In fact, I might swap some players around, like the very nervous ones. I don't want in defence and I don't want up front either. I don't want anyone that's nervous, to be honest. I'm going to say I'm far from please. Let's fire them up. I'm going to take off the very nervous number eight. I might, I might just swap. I might put number two up front because he's been fantastic. But let's put number two up front. Let's go for it. Number 10's missed a couple opportunities. Let's take, let's move him. Let's swap him around with 17. I'm still going to go with the target, man. We're floating the balls in, looking for overlap. Pass into... Sp Let's turn that off. Let's run at the defence. Let's just try and scare them a bit. Come on, lads. Do something. If it goes to penalties, I'm not too worried. 16 on penalties. Every single player, apart from the goalkeeper, of course. You know, that's that's not really anything to worry about. But oh, penalties in general, especially on Football Manager. It is a lottery, but I kind of have a bit more confidence in my my players. Uh, so I can't make any more subs. Maybe we should go more direct again. In fact, let's just go route one. Let's knock it up to them. I'm not going to look for over We're going to exploit. Let's turn that off. We're just. In fact, let's just turn a few things off. We're going simple. Go route one. Knock it up the pitch to the Cavani's and yeah. Could change the formation, I suppose. Put one of the Cavani's there as a shadow striker. So we've basically got four up front. Let's let's do that. And then this chap will play as a regular box-to-box -box midfielder. Try something a bit different for the second half of extra time. It's been a boring game. And who'd have thought that would keep so many clean sheets with this team? Looks like it's going to penalties. Nothing is happening. I'm just going to go overload, take more risks for literally the last... Oh, I didn't do it quick enough. Should have paused the game. It's going to penalties. Look at that. It's brilliant. Uh, it doesn't actually matter which order we take take them in, does it? Let's just put Mislera as the first penalty taker, just for the lols. Right then, Cavani number two, who's been a hero for us, is going to take the first penalty. Up he steps. And he scores right in the corner. Perfect penalty. Mislera. His moment to shine amongst all of these Cavani's. Can he pull off some saves for us? Let's see. Oh, that's a great penalty in the top right-hand corner. Which Cavani is it next? It's number four. It's all our defenders taking the penalties. Up he steps. And another one. Perfect. Right in the bottom right corner. Is every single penalty going to go that way? Because it's the same player. <laughs> Morocco second then. Come on, Miss Lara. Pull off a save. Oh, he does. Great save down to his right-hand side. We're in the box seat. In fact, number three. I might be going in order of number. You know, the. Well, no, it's not. It's two, four, then three, and that's a different type of penalty from number three. Our defenders are scoring the penalties. Three, one to us. Come on, Mislera. Oh, he saved it again. This is it. If we score this, I think we're through. Is that right? I think my calculations are correct. Which Cavani? It's gonna be number five. Yeah, it's all our defenders. Obviously, the game doesn't know that, I don't think, because they're all the same play. They're all strikers at the end of the day. But, as it happens, uh, four defenders 
are going to send us through to the quarterfinals, I hope. Let's see. Up steps number five. And he scores. He goes left this time around. We're through to the quarterfinals. It wasn't pretty. But I suppose it counts. It doesn't actually matter. We're going to have some tired legs, but rotation. We can rotate in the quarterfinal, can't we? So we've been drawn against Denmark in the quarterfinals. That's a positive draw for me. It does mean that we have every chance of getting through to the semi-finals. Denmark, solid team, very good team, but I'd rather take them on than Spain or France, for example. So that's pleasing. I've made some changes, not to the defence, because they've been so solid together, haven't they? We don't need to make any changes. Oh, we've got a goalkeeper injury for some reason, so we'll take him out. Uh, but yeah, that's it. It's weird, the match sharpness of some players is really not great. I've tried to rotate the players. And let's look at the cap situation. So looking at the new players, 11 and 8 and 5. Oh, in fact, there's a few players that have 6 caps. 11, 8, 5 and 2. Obviously, the real Cavani is almost up to 100 now. But there's that. in fact, 12 has only played one game. Maybe I should play him, give him a chance. Where's number 12? Instead of 20 hasn't really inspired me. I'm going to put 12 in for him. We are the favourites once again, though, for this game against Denmark, despite having a team of Cavani's, all the same player. No specialised defenders, no specialised midfielders, just 20 strikers, and we've got through to the World Cup quarterfinals by the skin of our teeth against Morocco, let's be honest. However, I think we have a good chance of beating Denmark. I keep mentioning it, but the pre the pre World Cup friendlies against European teams, we score goals. We conceded goals, but we score goals. I kind of I'm sticking the faith, keeping the faith with with the tactic that I've had from the start. It's worked all right, hasn't it? I, I'm not 100 percent sure about the striker role. I mean, I could play three advanced forwards, but I don't know if that would work. Oh, injuries. It started playing. I went to get some water and it's, uh, I've picked up two, number two and number six, both injured. I think I'd better take him off just in case. Who do we play it right back? I'm relying on number two. I'm going to throw on number seven and number 16. It doesn't matter. I keep, keep saying it. it doesn't matter who we bring on. No one is specialised in those positions, but Denmark, in fact, Jorgens has picked... How many injuries inside eight minutes? It's ridiculous. Dolberg, what is going on? There's some sort of apocalypse going on here. Maybe Suarez has turned up and, and in an angry state. I didn't get picked. Why is there 20 Cavadis and he's gone around biting everyone? This is an opportunity. The original Cavani with a great strike to put us 1-0 up at the end of the first half. We do seem to be quite successful from corners, don't we? Let's have a look at this. Number four into 12 finds the original Cavani who smashes it home. Four injuries in that first half. What a strange half of football. But we are 1 0 up. Passionate. I'm happy so far. Let's just keep going. I'm not going to make any more subs because we'll probably get an injury again. Corner to Denmark now. It's crossed in near post. This looks a little bit dangerous. It's out to Sisto. Lines one up. Ericsson. Oh, we've done really well there defensively, but they're still on the ball. Fischer. I mean, they've got some great players, Denmark, haven't they? Here's Vish Fischer. Down the left. Crosses it. Cornelius. Their third choice striker. Because they've already made a couple changes, haven't they? Jorgensen got injured. Dolberg got injured. On comes Cornelius. I'm going to go to standard, I think. If it lets me. Come on. Standard. There we go. In fact, we don't need to be more expressive on anymore, do we? Are we going through to the World Cup semi-final? I, I just, I'm so confused as to how we've done so well defensively. Considering we conceded twice against Croatia, three against Iceland, I thought that's the way it was going to be. But at the World Cup, we've only conceded one goal in that first game against Egypt so far. It just it doesn't make any sense. But here come Denmark looking to make it two against me. It's crossed in. Good defending by number four. And now number nine. Can we break? Long, beautiful ball to number 12. He's coming to the team today. And he goes for goal. He probably should have crossed that in. Six minutes until the end of 90. The Denmark going to spoil my party. It's knocked long. Good header away. Another good header. 
Ericsson on the ball though. He's the danger man, of course. This looks really dangerous, but Muslera catches it. We've only had six shots. We've had more possession though. Only one clear-cut chance each in this game. Here we come though. Looking to kill the game off, but that's knocked long by Denmark and the pace of Cavani. I mean, that is one good thing about having Cavani at the back. There's two good things. Things. He's, he's well, there's a few, in fact. He does have the attributes to be a centre-back, strangely enough. And I think that's why we have been solid defensively at this World Cup. As number 12 can't get a shot away. But this time around, Cornelius does beat our defence. And we, there's two men open on the right-hand side. Sisto goes wide. This is a chance for Eriksson to make it 1-1 and break our hearts. Only the second goal we've conceded at the World Cup. And it's in the 85th minute. It's harsh. Good counter-attack from Denmark, though. We're going to have to go back to attacking. Let's go back to what we were doing. Let's go into extra time. Are we going to see a second penalty shootout? We've not created opportunities, have we? Don't let this slip. <laughs> Steven Gerrard style. Okay, I'm going to... I'm tempted to play wingers. Take these guys out wide. A Ram Deuter. And we could play two Ram Deuters, couldn't we? Two Ram Deuters out wide. Let's try some different... Different style of play. We won't work the ball into the box. We're going to go mixed passing. Let's try something a little bit different. I'm going to hit early crosses from the full backs. Extra time it is. We've not really done much against Denmark. We've scored from a corner. They've scored a very good counter-attack goal. I thought we were going through with another clean sheet, but it wasn't to be. Here's Sisto. That's the first few minutes of this game was bizarre with all those injuries. Since then, it's, it's not been a huge amount of action. Ah, oh, this is boring. Might bring one of the central midfielders up front, go over a 4 2 4 kind of thing. Maybe. Or change one of the, the Mazalas into being a playmaker, maybe. Doesn't really suit being a playmaker. I think that's the one thing he just doesn't really suit. Maybe a roaming playmaker. Let's go with that. Experimenting. This is a football manager experiment at the end of the day. With a bit of a massive twist, but. Uh, yeah, we need to experiment around with things. Experiment with tactics. Could do an experiment tactics series, couldn't I? Here's a chance. We've taken the lead again. Number nine. There's another corner. The great, it's the finishing ability from corners that we seem to excel at. Let's have a look at this. Number four to the edge of the box. Number nine just slams it home. And now we need to now we need to shut up, don't we? Uh, tempo. We don't need to have a high tempo. We're going to close down. We're going to continue to close down. Let's just do that. Can we hang on and get through to the World Cup semi-final with a team of Cavani's? There's four minutes to go. Denmark have a highlight. That's headed away, though. Number seven. The substitute on for number two. We're going to miss him if he's out, out for the rest of the tournament. Here's number nine. Original Cavani. Can we kill this off? We've not been very good from open play, have we? Here comes Cornelius. Oh, no, not a red card. We've already got injuries, and now we're going to have a suspension for the, the semi. If we do get through to the semi final, this could change things for the last few minutes, of course. Just get on with it. Hurry up and send him off. There we go. He's subbed on in the eighth minute, and he's got in. He's uh, not injured, he's got sent off. Right then. What I'm going to do is, we're going to pull him back here. And we're going to play regular fullbacks. One minute of added on time. There's, yeah, a minute and a half to go. Here's the original Cavani tackled, trying to dribble around his man. Good defending by number four, but he's given the ball away to Eriksson. And it's going to be another heartbreaking goal right at the end of this game. Sisto plays it through. Cornelius just fires it wide. That was a chance. Just a few seconds to go. 40 seconds to hang on to this. And we're going to have a part four to this series where we're going to play... I don't know who, in the World Cup semi-final. We've had a relatively easy draw. We have benefited from that. But defensively, we've been incredible. We've been great from scoring from corners. I wish we were a bit better from open play, if I'm honest. But we're surprisingly solid. And we're going through to the World Cup semi-final. And we've got brilliant morale heading into it as well. We're going to take on Costa Rica or Colombia. We've got the easier side of the draw. This is a bit like the real World Cup where there's like an easy side to the draw, isn't there? It's, it's strange, but fantastic. 
So we're going to be taking on Colombia in the semi-final of the World Cup, an all-South American clash. How have we done this? I know it's not been the hardest draw, but still, it's, it's incredible. It really is. We can get through to a World Cup's final. I mean, that will be a tough match because we're likely to, to face a very big nation then. But Colombia will be tough. South American derby kind of thing. Wish me luck. Join me for part four of the series. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Please leave a like if you have. Until next time, enjoy FM18. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.